Well, these unprecedented times forcing some businesses to take drastic measures to survive. And as we look for ways to show how people and companies are rebounding from the coronavirus pandemic, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes us to Solana Beach, where an art gallery is holding a once-in-a-lifetime sale to make ends meet. This is actually a really fabulous uh, Spanish artist, Jose Royo. For 25 years, Ruth Ann Thorne has built quite a collection. So these are some of the trees by Daniel Ryan. This is actually a very famous artist, Verdugo. These are the Peter Max that I was mentioning. Hundreds of pieces from artists she'd featured at her galleries. So this is Christopher M's work. Now they're all for sales. It's pretty emotional. And on sale. You know, art doesn't really go on sale. But here we are in this time where you have to do what you have to do to keep the doors open. For the first time ever, Exclusive Collections Gallery in Solana Beach is having a sale. Fine art by famous artists lines the floor, all marked 50% off. It's bittersweet because on one hand, it's nice that people can come in and find that precious jewel and get a really good value. But on the other hand, we never thought the state would come. As a non-essential business. I say art is an essential item. Thorne's gallery had been closed since March because of the coronavirus pandemic. Online sales couldn't keep up with the cost of rent. She went through her warehouse, making a difficult decision. I was really, got very emotional, you know, and, and really almost broke down because I'm like 25 years of accumulating art. And now here is, here's where we're at. From pop art doggies to Japanese prints, Thorne says it's an opportunity to get a great piece at a great price. If you've never bought art before, you're going to get, you know, the deal of a century. In Solana Beach. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. And right now, the gallery open noon to 5 every day. They're also holding auctions online, and we have put a link at 10news.com. Virginia. Thank you, Jim. A special